Hey crafters, in this video I'll be showing you how to make this shadow effect around text in Inkscape. This is a really cool effect, it's not that hard to do in Inkscape once you've seen the process once, and it really takes your projects to a more professional and refined level. So I'll walk you through the process and hang around because at the end I want to show you how I've used this in one of my own projects, and to show you that you don't only have to use this for text, it can work in all sorts of different ways. So let's say my project is going to have this phrase on it and I've decided that I want to put a shadow behind this last word crafting. I show you from the start how to do this. So on your canvas select the text icon and you can just start typing the word. This effect looks better with script fonts so I'm going to choose the hello honey font. That's one of my personal favourites, it's on the font. If you need to know how to download fonts and get them into your Cricut Design Space, then I'll link the video for that below. So what I'm going to do is, while making sure the lock icon is on, I'll grab the corner and drag this to make it a bit bigger, so it's the size I want for my project. Make sure that you always keep this lock icon on when working with fonts, because you don't want to change the aspect ratio when it comes to fonts. That will just make it look really odd and unprofessional. So at the moment what we have here is a text box, this is still editable as text. But in order to be able to add the shadow around this, we need to turn this into a path, meaning an object or an image which has nodes. So if that is something you're not aware of what that means, I have a separate video where I've explained this and I'll link that for you below, so please take a look at it. What we'll do is select the box, come up to path, object path. Now if you just hit on the edit path by nodes tool, you'll see if I hover over each of these letters you can see the red outline which tells you the path that this has now become and you can see they're all individual letters and that's going to cause us a problem when we try and do the shadow. We need this to be one big word. So again selecting the whole word, we'll do object and ungroup and now you can see there you go they're all individual objects and to make them into one big path we will do path union so if i now select the edit path by nodes tool you can see that red line there is going around the, the entire word now so this is how we need it to look for adding the shadow all right from here it's really easy let's just select it again come up to path and select linked offset and you'll see this little diamond appears at the top here. I'm going to first select a colour, because at the moment we do have the shadow, but it is exactly the same size as the word, and it's behind the word, so you can't see it. If I select the diamond and drag, as I move it away from the word, you can see the shadow gets bigger. And the good thing about using the linked offset is you can play around with the size. If you move it down, it becomes smaller again until you're happy with where you've got your shadow. So if I now move the word out of the way so we can see what we've created, there you have it, you can see your shadow. Now you've probably noticed there is a problem in that we've got these white areas here that we want to get rid of. We don't want any random holes being cut out of our shadow. I'm going to first show you how to do this in Design Space, but for those of you who really do want to get independent of Design Space and fully design in Inkscape, before just doing make it through your design space. Hang around and I'll show you after how we fix this here. For now, what I'm gonna do is save this project and let's upload it into design space. So here is a new project, I'm on the canvas. I'll select upload, upload image, and then I'll just browse for my file, the SVG file. Sometimes, by the way guys, when you upload from Inkscape, you get this you get this error message. That's because you have text on your Inkscape canvas, which you didn't convert to a path like I showed you just now. I'm going to ignore this for now and hit continue because those text elements I don't need for this tutorial. Let's click save. Now I'll insert this onto the canvas. So you need to first of all ungroup. We can get rid of this, we don't need this one. Select these two together and just make it a bit bigger so we can see what's happening. Here you can really see all of these tiny little errors that we need to get rid of. 
It's super quick to do this in Design Space, just select contour. And you don't even have to individually go and select each of these little contours. You just click on hide all contours and you'll see when we come out that it's a completely clean shadow now. So if you now just select both of your images and align center, uh, let's move the shadow to the back, arrange center back, there you have a perfect shadow to put around your text. Let's now go back into Inkscape and I will show you how to get rid of these little errors within Inkscape. So I'm just going to zoom in a bit here. Okay, so as before, we need to turn this into a path. So we'll do path, object to path. And now you select the edit path by nodes tool. And there, anywhere that you can see a little gray diamond inside the shape, you just have to click and drag over it and delete. You can delete by just hitting backspace on your keyboard. So, see here I accidentally selected a node on the border. I'm just gonna do Command Z to fix that. To fix in Inkscape, this is what you need to do. It does take a little bit longer, but you know, this is the kind of thing that you need to be aware of if you want to be fully designing in Inkscape. That looks good. And then you would just follow the same procedure, just save the file and upload it into Design Space. All right, crafters, I did promise you a really cool way of using this technique, so let's have a look at it now. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. This card, as you can hopefully see, is a foiled card. I made it using the Cricut Foil Transfer Kit. I have a tutorial on that as well if you're interested. But to show you, I have um, added a border around the house so that after it was foiled, my machine cut around the house but left a gap so that you could still see the foiling design. So just another idea for how you can use the shadow method in Inkscape. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Hopefully it's answered your questions on how to add shadows in Inkscape. I'll catch you in the next video and until then, happy crafting!